Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumen Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. And today I have a lot of encouragement for you. I would like you to know that there, there's a lot of, um, I would say, confusion that's still out there, a lot of mental confusion. And I hope to clear up a few things, but mainly I want to give you some encouragement to keep moving forward. Because uh, this is a really important year. For some of you, this is your year. And I've already talked about this uh, quite a bit. And as you know, a few videos back, we talked about people throwing in the towel. And this has come up through uh, many timelines here. And some of those timelines were actually portals, portals of, I call them portals of opportunity. These are portals of opportunity for stepping up. You know, these are the times when you literally jump up or you get catapulted through. And we have some more coming up here. Uh, it's most definitely going to be this spring equinox in March, which will be the fall equinox in the southern hemisphere. And what happens? We have this you know it's the turning of it's the turning of things it is also a time for a uh, huge balancing of masculine and feminine energies and that does not just mean men and women it means women and women it means men and men and it means uh men and women so it can be for lesbian gay trans and heterosexual twin flames and yes gay twin flames exist Lesbian twin flames exist, and yes, there are transgender people. Uh, the reason I don't say bisexual is that usually because you are incarnated in a body, you are able to feel both energies, you're able to respond to both genders. However, your twin is usually in one body or another. And this is just one of the elements of confusion that add to people. They are feeling aspects of the feminine. A lot of people were feeling it all last year. Why? Because the electric feminine was getting into position. Now it is the time for the masculine, and he is being positioned. He's, you know, getting into place. And there's a couple of things that I want to talk to you about. One of the things I said in my videos way back, this is a, a several months ago, as I said, some of you are throwing in the towel. Okay, and I have a towel here. I particularly picked red because it's like a red flag to a bull. But what are you doing? What does it actually mean to throw in the towel? It's a boxing term. It's from sports. It's from boxing. And what it means is it means stop the fight. It just means stop the fighting. You and your twin are already here. And you say, well, I may want to stop fighting, but that person is resisting, that person is not cooperating, or I keep doing things. Some of you are getting quite provocative about what you're doing. You're throwing up all kinds of things. Some of you would like to take a rubber mallet and clonk your head, your twin on the head, and get moving. And I'm an equal opportunity clonker, equal opportunity clonking. And oddly enough, I try to get his helmet off, but he has permanent helmet head. Okay, so that's just a little joke for you. But the thing is, is the um, the fighting, that's not going to um, really suit you well. And the reason is, is much of the separation between you two energetically, it's, it's not that separate anymore. And what you wind up having, this is from my fireplace set. This is an iron rod. Okay, what you wind up having is this iron rod between you. And it, you know, what happens? Do you, do you push? Do you get pulled? Do you get pulled into things you don't want? Do you get pushed? Are they pushing you back? And how do you remove this iron rod between you? Because this iron rod will not enable you to feel your twin. What you feel is maybe they're resisting or worse, Everything else the world has got to you, and there's there's not feeling there. And there there's a thing to know here. Um, some of you are meeting people along the way. 
and because you have detox because you're feeling lovely you're meeting people and sometimes the discernment is really a challenge of what is that and I want to say this to you when I do readings for people a lot of times I walk people through helping them feel the truth of their own heart in almost every case you know they have to feel the truth of their heart but when there's something off I feel it I can sense it I can feel that's one of my gifts and I'm not here to mislead people I really do my best to get everything as accurate and valid as possible and I do a lot to maintain my higher connections a lot of it has been with me taking these long pauses as you can see there's been a long pause between videos and there's a reason for it that is because mental confusion gets stirred up every time like when mercury re goes retrograde you're you're going through this cloud you're going through a polluted cloud of people's thoughts beliefs all of the beliefs that are getting released and the thing to know with this is that when there are things and there's a red flag I call people on it if I sense that there's something false I will let them know because I have known people to get hurt people have gotten hurt financially they've given money to the wrong things or it's being funneled to something or being given to a false twin and there are other things that happen it actually hurts it can uh, lead to actual physical pain on the body false twin energy will uh, it it for many people it's been threaded in the organs it throws things off because you're not able to properly balance it gives you metabolic issues so one of the things that a uh, couple of things to know is that the decisions that you're making at this point only affect your personal timeline the collective decision has been made so we're talking about the free will here versus the higher will or what I would call destiny it's inevitable your outcome is assured you're you've already if you've already met your twin or you're going to meet your twin or you have your twin or you're aware of your twin it's on there is no we passed the point of no return way back and so collectively the uh, very first decision collectively was actually that yes we would uh, become new we would come back together in oneness we wouldn't come back together as a group but this convergence of soul groups is confusing people because they're bumping into some lovely people who yes they themselves have gotten their scars and calluses and often done their healing they're feeling good you can feel but this is a very slippery thing because a lot of you are pulling in new Kundalini energy and you're having those rushes rush right up your body and you know you want to stick it somewhere people are wanting to stick this all this energy somewhere but it's not always appropriate so the decision made if you decide right now that what does throwing in the towel mean or you're giving up or something like that if you're seeing reasons why maybe you should not speak to your twin please know that there's usual there's usually a mirror there of some kind it could be a mirror of your situation your environment or it can be a mirror of something that's inside that's still uh, needing releasing so the main uh, message I want to give you is please stop the fighting because those people that are coming together with their twin that will be merging with their twin that have been spending a lot of their preparation over the past couple of years they don't need the negativity this negativity does not need to be in the air and if you do make certain decisions please know that you're only affecting your personal timeline the earth ascension is is what is beginning this year and while we have elevated the vibrations we're nowhere near um, getting to the level where things no longer affect people it does affect people for example here where I live in Chicago the United States Navy is sending their doctors to our main city hospital for training in gunshot wounds 
that gives you an idea of how dangerous uh, certain areas of my city or my metro area are. And yet, in, by many standards, uh, we're a world-class city. We have uh, phenomenal museums. We have a lot here. Um, it's, it's a really beautiful place. Now, speaking of cities, a lot of you have been affected by some really extreme weather, particularly in Canada and the United States. Um, but also other areas, and the really extreme cold weather and the extreme hot, because you have really extreme hot going on in Australia, and so you have this opposite effect. But in the north, this actually is putting a cone of slowing down the watery energy, but it's the watery energy of the masculine. And just this week, um, we're having a conjunct of Mars and Venus happened a few days ago. There's there's more ast astronomical and astrological things that are going to take place. For those of you who are um, illumined twin flames, and that means that you've opened up 90 per, almost 90% of your spiritual DNA and explored it. For those of you that are illumined twin flames, you are feeling this in a very physical way. And that's part of the reason why I talk about this stuff as being so intense. People that are in, are not twin flames will not understand you. And it's important to know that, yes, you're not crazy because you are experiencing things very physically. You're able to see things. You're, it's feeling like it's right inside your body or touching your body or pummeling your body. It's very physical. This is a very physical ascension. For many of those people, the time for change was last year. And those changes were um, everything and ev anything and everything. They were getting yourself aligned so that you could be with your twin, even if you weren't with your twin. And I'm going to say this about Blu-ray Twin Flames. A lot of you have almost had to be physically held away from each other because you're so ready to merge at their, that you need to be held for the proper timing for firing up the fire, the flower of life grid. So um, everything will begin to turn for the better. And there are actually more people coming into this level. There's more people that uh, will awaken. There's also more uh, that want to be born. And there's going to be a lot of changes about that. So if you think the population as it stands right now, it's finally at a point where you can affect the planetary ascension. And I'm not going to do the math, okay? I'm not going to do it on the fly right now for anybody's head. Okay, but there's no reason to distract ourselves with the math. But generally, just suffice it to say that there is a, we've reached that critical mass of people uh, about, a year and a half to two years ago. It's taken us some extra time. And yes, having people uh, really have the physical, metaphysical body preparation has been important. So the changes, the uh, first, second, and third waves, first, second, and third waves of people, they're in position. They're exactly where they need to be. And at a, in about mid-January, I had this night vision, and it was uh, pretty interesting because I was up in sort of a cloud-like level, and there were several uh, male, several males, uh, some I recognized as personal acquaintances or friends, some were the masculine counterpart of people that I've done readings for, and they were sort of peeking through the clouds, like waiting for the time, like when is it time, when is it time, and they started coming through, all of a sudden they got this green light and they started coming through. Next thing I knew, I was at the ground level and I was looking up, but what was falling down were actually, um, it looked like sweet cakes or something like that. And I couldn't help but I, I got this sense of the masculine sweetness. And then I got these words, man from the heavens. Like, I, I just knew that finally the the parts of the males and the masculine counterparts, whether they're gay, whether they're lesbian, because there is masculine energy within female bodies, or heterosexual, 
it's coming in. So some of the part that you've been waiting for, not just the parts, not just the physical parts to, you know, spark up here, the part of your journey here that you're waiting for, you're coming into it. So by all means, if you're, yeah, if you throw in that towel, please understand that nothing's really stopped. You might need a pause. You might need a breather. But you're, what you really need to do is stop the fighting with each other. Stop, you know, there's there's other things that are going on here that are um, equally important. And nobody is negating your importance or the importance of your personal ascension. But what some of you need in order to affect these changes are the first, second, and third waves. And I knew this also in a session that I did a few weeks ago. The sense was... It's, it's on. It's ready. It's ready. Okay, that was a few weeks ago. Now, there's still a timeline here until March. I have a very unique perspective because I am a Blu-ray Illumin Twin Flame. But I also am in, I uh, have been to the fifth dimension. And not for long. I don't have, you know, like months and months of recollection. I'm here um, as a guide and to teach and to... Um, encourage definitely for encouragement because I'm an optimist I will always be the glasses full kind of person that's just always who I've been I, I always 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 have been uh, even when I had a different position even when I had um, a different um, uh, we had a business there I'm the optimist okay I am the one who always will trust that things are going to work out even when I don't know how and yeah I've been afraid I have been afraid and I've had to deal with my fear okay so that's you know that's really the key is you know you're taking the a lot of this on faith and trust and trusting that you did not meet each other so that you could just fall apart okay some of the how how has this happened in terms of false beliefs or obstacles, they're being taken away. They're actually being taken right out of the mental body, out of the head. And there's, you know, there's a thing to know. While you do want people to surrender, and people do need to surrender to this, um, there are there are other things to know. You can't phone this in, okay? The taking it out of the etheric and into the physical means really getting good at heart communication because in the fifth dimension you are not going to call your twin on a device you communicate anywhere you are in the world in the universe in the next room in the middle of an argument if you're having an argument with your twin you need to tune into your heart and find out what is the best course of action here and this is another thing to know a lot of you are feeling prompted to take some actions and then you may feel as though it lets up please know that that's only a pause that is a breather because we have the people right now but we have the people for this first part there are subsequent parts and everybody is important you're all bringing something to the table there is there is nobody that isn't important here. Not everyone on the planet is a twin flame. There are actually very few. Um, uh, there's very few golden ray of the golden sun twin flames. There's very few illumined blue ray twin flames who are incarnated in a body. There are a lot of seraphim cherubim. And, and I've spoken about this also. These are parts of the soul group. And people will find a resonance with some of this. That, you know, they meet people that are part of their soul group. So please, be kind to each other. Be kind to those people that actually really know where they're going. And don't scoff at them. Stop the criticisms. Um, there's people that are allowing some of their uh, own disappointment to make them negative there are people that have been waiting and waiting and waiting and I know people who've been literally waiting for close to 30 years there's people that have met their twin as a child or have known since a child that it's a certain person maybe met them later
There's people who have recently awakened, so everybody's story is different. Please stick to your own true love story. You're not here to, you know, take more abuse. There, there are things that you're still learning along the way, and there's a lot that's going on simultaneously. There are things about the body. There's things about transitioning here. There's things about timelines. Like, there's a whole lot of new stuff because you're new. We have particularly made the light body new so that nobody can mess with you ever again or your beloved. Now, a couple of the things to really know is that there are people who have literally moved heaven and earth to be with their twin. They paved the way. It makes it easier for some of you. Please know that this is a union. If you are a twin flame, you are in eternal union with your twin flame, whether you choose to be with them, whether you choose not to, whether they have chosen to be with you or not. We ended... We ended having to play out Universal Karma in August of 2014. So from August until now. So that's um, the beginning of August, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. Seven months of finishing stuff with parents, children. Why? Because this is your new life. And I've heard this from many people. Oh, it's not for this lifetime. Well, which lifetime do you want it to be for? Do you want to come back around for more karma? Because if you create that, that, guess what? You're in more of your creative mode this year, and your ability to create and manifest is going to really spark up here. What do you want to create? It's a choice. It's a choice. It's not a criticism. It's a choice. What is optimal? What is optimal? Okay, because the universe won't tell you this is right or wrong. The universe just, it, it's energetic. It flows. And so if the flow is like to go around an obstacle, if, you know, if you're waiting for obstacles to be removed, and and the thing to know is that, yeah, while I'm an American and I have certain laws to abide by, there are a lot of laws that give Americans freedoms that people do not have the benefit of in other countries and you know that doesn't make me superior what that makes me is cognizant that it's really important to um, own the freedoms that I can because I would wish that for other people and there's there's just so much that's going to be changing and there's people poised and ready because it, just to give you a little uh, glimpse of the future, of the immediate future, because I know there's people that really just want to get out of here. And I get you. A lot of people really would just like to get to another dimension and forget all about this. And you will. But please know that, um, you know, false beliefs and obstacles, you're, you're, f you're floating up through this cloud right now. You're actually ascending through this mental cloud. So pay attention to what's yours. What's your twin? If you're getting something that even seems like, you know, well, it might be a good idea. I don't know. Like, that sounds plausible. Is that yours or is that coming from your twin's head? Feel it out. The other thing is that um, in order for these uh, twin flames, the, the ones who in, are in part of the first, second, and third waves, and it's going to go quickly, and there's going to be about a month window. So in March, it'll be like, a you know, about four to five weeks that people are merging and elevating. And then again, uh, starting up in July, these are more portals. So that for the September, I'm sorry, in June for the uh, solstice, that'll be another one. And uh, then into, um, as we go into the next equinox, which will be the fall and the spring, so it's fall in the northern, spring in the southern hemisphere. These are these are going to be the next um, times that that the first, second, and third. So those people who are and will will probably be in their honeymoon period in isolation, taking a retreat, 
taking a retreat from some of the things they know, whether they're a famous person, whether they're an actor or a healer or a politician or someone on somewhere in the public eye, and there's a lot, um, they will be taking their retreat. So people that, you know, have maybe decided, well, it's just not for now, you're only delaying the inevitable. And I say that to you with a vote of confidence because please be encouraged. What happens is as, as we fire up the grid of life, this is what makes it possible to continue moving heaven and earth, to get laws changed, to get, and this is what I wanted to say. What's coming through are changes in education, changes in health care, changes in government, changes in the military, and it all needs to be into place to support the next waves. And a lot of those next waves are going to be children or you know, children transitioning out of childhood into adulthood. So please take heart. I've had a lot of people who've reported back to me that they've come together or gotten together with their twin. This is all not doom and gloom. Please be inspired. But if you're finding that your love life is so boring, hang on here a minute because in a few months, regardless of the choice you make, Things are going to get uh, lively for you. For a lot of you who've been waiting, welcome to your time period because um, this is what this is the time you've been waiting for. Whether it's 30 years, a year, two years, months, whatever it is, it's here for you. And m there are people who have been waiting not just 30 years; they've been waiting 26,000 years for exactly this time. So I can't say with any certainty who's first, you know, who picks the sequence, why it's this way or not. All I know is that the sequence is uh, part of the divine timing, so that it's laid out in a certain way that supports and continues to love. That's why the sequence it's not oh you were waiting first and well you picked number 33 and you decided to go dilly dally it's not like that but please stop the negativity stop the fighting stop bickering it's no longer appropriate it's not worthy of who you are it's not only that it's not honorable it's not your highest and best what's the highest and best of you and that's what you have to answer so thank you so much for listening, and please have a wonderful day. I wish you well, and there's going to be more to come. Thanks. Bye.